Last week on The Season. Te'amu. Ta'amu. Ta'amu. Te'amu. Ta'amu. Jordan Ta'alolo Ta'amu Perifanos. <laughs> that wouldn't fit on the back of the jersey, oh, would it? No, it would not. It would not. As soon as I go home, spend time with my family, and then I'm always going out to the beach. Let's give a round of applause for Jordan Ta'amu, ladies and gentlemen. So here is Jordan Ta'amu in at quarterback for Ole Miss. And I said to myself, I prepared for this. I'm, I made for this. Uh, I dreamed about this my whole life. He's able to um, lead by example. It's just an awesome feeling just to give back to the community because of what the community gave me. The time for fear and worry and doubt, it's over. Put it behind you because right now it's time to put the damn ball down. Downfield and caught, striking quickly. DK Metcalf, great Jew goalie, hit him with the sauce. Phillips, touchdown Mississippi. Really happy uh, with the start. Uh, start out 1-0 against a uh, Big 12 opponent. Happy for our players. Coaches work really hard, put a lot of time and uh, effort into that. Really, it's the approach taken by the defense that it doesn't really dictate what we do, but it allows us to attack different areas of the field. It was outstanding for our fans, outstanding for the players, and now to have an opportunity to come back home, uh, you get an opportunity to sleep in your own bed and play in front of your own crowd. I mean, it's, it's going to be great. Home openers were great, just uh, fired up to get back into the Grove and play in front of our home fans and uh, excited about that, excited about the challenge. Coming out injury situation, um, um, the, mo the, the biggest injury, um, Jalen Jones, um, he, he does have a torn ACL. We got the, uh, uh, the MRI back, he'll have surgery on Friday. Well, I want to be clear, man, that's a, that's a tremendous loss for us in, uh, in more ways than one. I mean, uh, you know, he was a tremendous asset, you know, and just in terms of his leadership. I mean, uh, really, really strong uh, football intelligence. Uh, he's very, very confident, and, and as a coordinator, he gives you confidence to go in man-to-man -man coverage. Scotty Phillips, really happy to see him get off to that start. I've been excited about what I've seen with him through spring and uh, happy to see him have that type of start. Two things we wanted to do in the running game. We wanted to create more explosive runs, which we did, and, and we do. We want to be more efficient in the runs that are not explosive. So our, our goal is, is four yards of carry. You know, as, as Coach Luke said, you get three and a half yards of carry in the SEC and you're running the ball pretty good because you're getting younger guys repetitions and you're getting them play time. And I, I think every situation in every game is different. And, you know, when we have an opportunity to play some of those guys, we will. The saying goes, practice makes perfect. But without a perfect practice, the Ole Miss football team can only improve so much in a given day. It is during these sessions that a group of people are needed the most and talked about the least, the managers. Man, they're, they're critical. Uh, most of them know the drill is better than we know them. They know where we're gonna be set up. When we need something, sometimes on the spot, like a piece of equipment's malfunctioning or something, they're on the spot ready to take care of that. They have the balls ready for us. They have towels. Um, they're putting down the ball where it needs to be, left hash, right hash, middle. And uh, as soon as the next um, series or next play comes on, they're on it, they're in it. Hey, right middle, right middle. It's a little toasty out here. Come on, Ross. Come on, Ross. Come on. Easy, JT. Easy, Jordan. Hey, ball's over here. This is the last one. 
I personally, you know, just enjoy just having them around because they're really good people, you know, other than the job, they, you know, they talk to, relate to you, you know, they never give me a hard time, ever. If I need something, I go down there, even before practice, after practice, they make sure I get it done. I blame stuff on my cleats all the time, like if I slip on a route, I'm like, can you please go give me some more cleats, please? <laughs> so, and they'll run in and they'll give me some cleats, like, you know, they don't have to do those things, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not their job. How's your helmet? Hmm? How's your helmet? Is still straight? You know, I have a personal relationship with most of them, so I kind of talk noise to them. And uh, I mean, they're always there when we need anything, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, look who it is. Woo! You want to give me a touchdown today? All right, baby. Hey, count on it. Six points, baby. Four years, you finally got me. Finally got you. Finally got me. Felt so good. Oh, no, did it? How you mic'd up and ain't talking? What? Because I ain't face. I don't talk as much as you. When the rebels hit the road, the job of the manager becomes paramount. Organization yeah. is key. And on game days, yeah, things can get a little wild. In your locker. Tal? No, no. Can I get to uh, the, the long bands? Yep. They have girls, right? Yes, they have girls. What size? Yeah, 2X long tight. What's your locker? 88. I get one more. You gotta be the first one there. You just gotta grab whatever you need. Sometimes you grab extra just to like have it. I try to get in there first and you know get all my stuff before the entire crowd piles in there. They have everything ready for us. I mean, really, I don't really have to ask them much. They have it already in the locker. I mean, select few guys, know a few players. So, I mean, they know what you like to wear. They have it ready. Large. Large. Is it short sleeve in the locker? Yes. What size? Uh, sleeve. sleeve, yeah. Appreciate it. Right, Socks, they're in your locker. They're the guys that nobody notices until something goes wrong. And uh, they don't get enough credit, but they're, they're, they're critical to our operation. Well, they're stationed to different groups, so the guy who is with us, they make sure that the cones are set up before we get to that station. Getting the footballs ready to help us set up the drill, help it run the drill. So they already have it set up, or Coach Crime will like, fuss them out or something. <laughs> and if they don't, they have to answer to McGriff just like we do. Where mother cone at? Cone, cone. Hell, we just a billion dollar organization. You gonna come out with one cone? Hey, I told y'all to get a bag and put balls and cones in it. You got me? Yep, you got it. Don't let that happen again. The managers are a team within the team, a unit. Every unit needs a captain, a leader. The Ole Miss football team managers are led by none other than the reigning equipment manager of the year, Ken Crane. He's just a, he's a guy that makes you makes you smile. You just see him and you just he's just always he's always got a grin on his face. Or it's just you just say hey hey Ken how you doing? And he's just like hey how you doing? Kid's a great guy. Every time I see him, go Rebels. Hi guys, this game we're gonna have white jerseys and gray pants and baby blue helmets. Man, you gotta get knee pads. You gotta go get some knee pads out of the container right there <laughs> and go Rebels. <laughs> if they holler, move it up or anything, as long as Coach Luke says it, okay? Yep. Don't do it until he says it. You good? Good job. Can you handle it now? Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. You look nervous. I never don't don't you're don't you're doing this because of the microphone. <laughs> There's no microphone on. Yes, Come do it after red ball. Every time, hey, howdy tidy. That's all he says. And you no, know, I I just like Kent Crane and his personality. He's always supportive. He whenever we walk past each other in the hallways, he's always telling them, you know, proud of you or something like that. Yeah, or, or the point wink. Uh, no, we love Ken, and he's always he's always served as a supportive guy. Ken Crane's a guy. He's very very quiet, but very kind of sudden with his with his moves. I mean, his first, first reaction when you see him every day is go reps, you know, and it's just uh, that, that's what you look out of, you know what I mean? Is you know it's great, you know, especially when he starts to post his fishing stuff and, and what he does, and you get to talking about those things and you know what new products he have, and it's just a, a great feeling, you know. He's been around the game for a long time, and, and he treats us very well. What's up? You alright? Good. Good, how about you? Proud of you. No pain. No pain. Look at them shoes, man. Woo! The NFL caliber shoes right there. The NFL caliber shoes right there. Hanging out with Ken Crane, the most powerful man in Oxford right here. I mean, he's a staple here. You know, kids love him, staff loves him. He's just, uh, it'd be weird being around on this football and not having Ken Crane here somewhere. It takes everybody, like not just certain groups, not just the players and the coaches, it takes everybody around us. You know, we appreciate everybody who helps to 
university and helps the, the team, you know, they do a great job. They put their, all their effort into it. They're the ones, you know, moving the gear around and having the football so where we don't have to wait for someone to throw a football back from the sideline and stuff. It's, you know, our practices would probably be like three hours without them, and we're definitely thankful oh, to have them. Boot goofy. Oh, 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 he broke it. Home opener for the Ole Miss Rebels. Head coach Matt Luke coming off a convincing victory over Texas Tech a week ago. The Rebels are fired up, looking to go to 2-0 on the season. Try to make a statement here today with another victory at home. There are no certainties in sports. Every athletic contest is unique in its own right. On this humid September day in Vault Hemingway, no one could be prepared for the fast break shootout that would unfold in the first half. Got a man open, and it's going to be hauled in at the nine-yard line on the far sideline. That's a 21-yard pickup. Ole Miss rushes four. Strong settles, fires, and another wide-open target. It's the tight end Kilby for a touchdown. Impressive drive by the Salukis. On second down, a flare far side and some good yak yards after the catch. Now handoff again to Phillips off the right side. He's got some room to 15-10 to the sidelines. Turning the corner, turning on the Jets, and banged out of bounds. Inside the 10 is Phillips. You see some of the speed for the 5'11 junior there. Here's a handoff. Rebels first and go from the 7 is Phillips. He takes it in off the right side for the touchdown. A 7-yard run untouched, and the Rebels are a PAT away from tying. Best the Scotty Phillips juice. Can I get some? Mm. Hey, I just made three plays just by doing that. Play action. First down, plenty of time, and again another wide open target at the 25, inside the 20, and down to the 15 yard line. They have three receivers to the left. There's the snap. Pressure up the middle, fired, wide open, touchdown. Tama with all day to throw. There's the deep ball. It's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to be hauled in at the 30. DK Metcalf right on cue, partner. Rebels in business at the 30 of the Salukis. Pass near Simons. This is Sanders. He makes the catch. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Quick fashion that time, and the Rebels are a PAT again from tying it. Two great passes, uh, two good catches. Uh, that was a really heck of a catch in the end zone. Came down with one foot and then held on to it after he fell to the turf. While the Rebel offense was moving the ball with ease down the field, so too were their Saluki counterparts, causing frustration for the defenders in red and blue. They will go for it. Play action. Oh, wide open at the 20. It's caught inside the 10 and down to the 5. A beautifully designed play by head coach Nick Hill as the fullback, Jalen Graham, just slithers through the line, and there was nobody within five yards. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's great. It's great. Sam Straub, who's run his offense very well, is in a gun formation. He's going to keep it himself, runs off the right side, dives into the end zone, touchdown, Southern Illinois, and the Salukis are feeling it. Hey, you got to do your job, man. If you're on the tight end, you get your eyes on the tight end, and you stay on the tight end. <laughs> The first 30 minutes of the contest felt more like a tennis rally than a football game. For every score on one end of the field. The fake to Phillips, Talma wants to throw toward the end zone. He's got A.J. Brown, he's gonna haul it in, touchdown! One on one with an undersized back, a defensive back to safety, Michael Elbert. He has no shot at staying with him there. And on fourth down, the Rebels strike for six. The other side had an answer. Straub over the middle, touchdown. Another one on one battle won by a wideout for the Salukis. There's the fans for the Salukis. They're up and, and clapping, and I know this crowd is shocked wearing the Ole Miss colors. Leaving the scoreboard looking more like halftime of a Rebel Hoops matchup than a football game. Coach, it was a uh, good offensive first half for SIU. What needs to change on defense? Just got, we just got to get stops. We got to stop the run. We got to get our eyes right, get our eyes on our covers, and get off the field on third down. At some point, you got to go do what? You got to go execute. That's the bottom line. You got to go execute. How many quarters are there in a football game? Oh. There's four damn quarters. How many we played so far? Right, now listen to me. 
That ain't our standard. Go do something about it. Let's go play two quarters of football the way we know we're capable of playing. Defense, we got to get stopped. They gonna give you nothing. If you want it, you have to go down and take it. And I expect you to play that way in the second half. Now answer the bell. And the Salukis will open the second half with a three-point lead and the ball, and we haven't stopped them yet. Third and 12 for the Salukis. Straub to throw, crossing route, dropped. Vernon Dasher hit him hard in the back, and the ball came out. Fourth down, listen to this crowd. The as the stop. Rebel defense gets a stop. While the Saluki offense would hit their first roadblock of the day, it was all gas, no brakes for Ta'amu and company. Here comes a deep ball far side. Over the shoulder, catch by Brown, and a touchdown. What a pass, dumped it right in there to him. Did he get to the goal line or not? They haven't indicated. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Ta'amu, quick pass. Far corner, up to grab it. Did he hold it? Yes, sir. DK Metcalf just out jumped the defender and made the grab. When you got a 6'4 athlete like DK Metcalf, he's not going to lose many of these battles. With the NWO regulars performing their usual routine, a rising star was mimicking their every move. Tom will first pass, bombs it down the near side. He's got Sanders over the shoulder, catch of the 30, pulled down at the 20. Braylon Sanders. Grabbed that one over the shoulder with Caesar on his hip, and the young man made a tremendous catch, and that really flips the field. Jamu uncorks another deep ball. Got him, got him over the shoulder grab. Braylon Sanders, the sophomore, having a big day thus far. You guys put that on your board. Braylon Sanders is the real deal. He's waiting his turn. I don't think he's waiting his turn. He is showing out not to be outdone by the prolific Rebel offense. The Landshark D looked to light up the scoreboard as well. We should have came out this way, but we're gonna finish this way. We're gonna finish this way. Let's go, let's go. Fakes a handoff left, bootlegs right, throws back to the left, and it's picked off by Ole Miss. It's Vernon Dasher. He could go to the house. Go score, go score, baby. Go score, go score, damn it. Go score, Dasher. He is in the end zone. The Rebels got a pick six. Been looking for that one. And Vernon Dasher. Copyville, a.k.a. Atlanta, Georgia. That's a bad man. Going back and picked off at the 15. Finally a turnover for Ole Miss. Vernon Dasher will dash his way to the end zone. South Georgia, baby. No question, baby. Yes, sir. Great job, man. Appreciate it, coach. Hey, hey I'm just glad you didn't get caught. <laughs> Straw fires downfield. This one's picked off at midfield. A little bit underthrown and jumping high in air to pick it off is the freshman, Keedron Smith. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Now. Ole Miss is going to get home sooner or later here with this defensive front seven. You hope it's the front four that can produce the sack. Not this time. Ball is loose. Another takeaway. That's the third. Look out. Here we go. Convoy in the clear and a touchdown. Victor Evans. I mean, one cut off saw y'all here. It looked natural. It looked natural. That was a bomb, man. Tell you what, Richard, the Rebels been hunting some turnovers, got three in a row now. Yeah, and you know, after you go a game and a half, a game and three quarters without one, you, you start to get a little gun shy. This defense, as bad as it was in the first half, they've certainly kind of answered the bell here in the second half. We got the turnover now. We'll keep fighting. I got you. Yeah. With the defense swarming, a few new faces were introduced to the Rebel faithful. Hey, watch this. Jump on the pile. Great coverage. Did he catch that ball? He did. It's one on one down the far sidelines, and it's going to be wrestled around and held on. What a catch for Alex Weber. How in the world did he reel that in? There's a snap, and he pulls it, and he's going to run. Has one stiff arm, turns, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Matt Corral, his first. Okay, Matt. Okay, Matt. Ah! Nice job on the zone read by Matt Corral. Put it in the belly of the running back and then took it away and scampered in off the right side. Ole Miss, after a tight first half, blew the Salukis away in the second half and win this one 76 
to 41 is our final score. Would you consider this a pretty good tune-up ahead of Alabama week? I was more than a tune-up. Uh, you know, we just we just got to we got to do a lot of things better. We got to get off the field on defense, be a little bit more efficient on offense. But uh, overall, in, anytime you can get a win, it's a good one. Thanks, coach. Thank you. Hey, it was an ugly win, but we got it. We just got to come back to work tomorrow and get better. We just do our job. We take care of business. It's all about being two and zero. Got the dub. Uh, we're about to start SEC play next week, so it's time to hey, it's time to get with it. It gets get real here soon, so. Just enjoy the win tonight, get back to work tomorrow. It was an ugly win, but all that matters is we got the win. We're gonna get it fixed this week. I promise you'll be coming out way harder next week. Just watch. I got a score, yeah, he heard it. He really was supposed to get sacked if he came in my gap, but he didn't come in my gap. He took a more dangerous route and wanted to go towards Ross. So, hey, that was his mistake. I picked it up. I showed my running back skills, you know. Because people don't think D-Lyman got running back skills. I had to show him real quick. I had to make it count. And that's what we did. Hey, this is this is a small taste of what we got to do next week. We got to bring it back next week and get fixed the mistakes and come back and dominate next week. Now, uh, proud of the effort in the second half. Only thing, y'all know that's not us on that field today. Y'all know that. But we got to come back in here tomorrow ready to go to work because there is a big game coming on Saturday. You understand that? Hey, and so hey, and so the mindset is to come back here and go to work. Let, let's look at the tape. Let's find out what that first half. Let's find out why. It's not athletic ability. We got to find out why. The only stat that matters is two and zero. All right, but but we got to play to our standard. We didn't do that today, and you know that. Good team win today. No big game next week. Just come back in here to get better. Who's that? First catch is Scottish guy. It's a good one, too. <laughs> and we're going to keep working hard. We're going to keep praying that night. And we're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep showing up every week. I promise you that.